I went out and bought three of the most popular CrossFit shoes and tested them so that you didn't have to. Hey everybody, Coach Cody here, and in this video I'm reviewing three of the most popular CrossFit style training shoes. They are the No Bull Trainer Plus, the TYR CXT1, and the Reebok Nano X3. As a gym owner and coach, one of the most commonly asked questions that I get at the gym is, what shoe do I recommend for our CrossFit style training sessions? So I went out and tested each shoe so that you didn't have to. Throughout this video, I'm going to go through the cost of each shoe and the testing criteria that I put each one of these shoes through. Let's start with the testing criteria. When I'm in the market for a new CrossFit shoe, what I'm looking for is something that will perform well in weightlifting movements and more specifically, squatting movements. Then I look for something that's light and versatile. The shoe has to perform well in all the movements that we see in a CrossFit workout, so things like double unders, running, box jumps, burpees. The shoe has to be light and versatile and be able to do well in all these exercises. Lastly, it's important that the shoe is durable. All of these shoes cost more than $100, and it's important that I'm not having to replace these shoes every few weeks through the wear and tear that we see in CrossFit workouts. And you know that if you've done CrossFit workouts for any period of time, we're not exactly being gentle on these shoes. Let's start with the No Bull Trainer Plus. The cost of these shoes was around $140. I found these to be quite comfortable, but a bit on the heavier side compared to the other two. They felt great in weightlifting and squatting movements and were my personal favorite for running workouts. I'd say that the number one quality of the Noble is that they are known for their durability. Just looking at the outer shell of this shoe, I can tell that this shoe is gonna last for several months before I have to go out and replace them. Overall, I'd give this shoe an eight out of 10 and would recommend it to any CrossFitter from the beginning level all the way to the advanced. Next, we got the Tier CXT1. These shoes also cost about $140. The first thing I noticed about these shoes were how light and versatile they felt. One thing to note is that the rubber on the front of the toe box here, I found it that it almost felt like I was getting springed out of my burpees, the way that it bit into the mat and really helped me to get down and off the floor very quickly, a lot quicker than the other two. I have a pretty wide foot and compared to the other two, these shoes felt the most narrow. They performed well in weightlifting elements and squatting, but the one thing that I did notice was this mesh upper layer to the shoe. I believe the intention of this mesh upper layer was to keep the shoe light and airy, but I would question its durability with that layer. If you have a normal width foot and don't typically need a shoe with a wider toe box, I would definitely recommend these shoes. Overall, I give the shoe a 7 out of 10 just simply because of the durability and me being unsure as to how long the shoe will last. Lastly, we got the Reebok Nano X3. Also coming in at around $140, this shoe is definitely my favorite shoe. Seeing as Reebok was the first sponsor of the CrossFit Games, the people at Reebok know exactly what you need in a CrossFit style training shoe. As I said, this was my favorite shoe out of all three. It performed well in all the different exercises I tried from weightlifting to squatting and running and felt light and versatile for all of those. The only issue I've had with the Reebok Nander over the years is that its durability isn't always the best. Some held up really well to all the things that we do in workouts and some didn't perform as well. So ultimately that's always been something that I've always really paid attention to with, with this shoe. Again, coming in at $140, you don't want to be replacing these every few weeks if the, the bottom of the sole tears off or if the front of the mesh layer rips open on you. Overall, I'd give the Reebok Nano X3 a nine out of 10, only taking one point off because of the durability question. At the end of the day, each shoe would do well for you inside of a CrossFit workout, and ultimately it's gonna come down to your personal preferences. Each company allows you to try the product out for any time within 30 to 60 days, and will allow for you to get a full refund and come with a prepaid return label. So I'd recommend trying out any of the three and putting them to your own test. Thanks again for watching today's video. If you got any value from today's video, I would just ask that you to give this video a thumbs up and then hit that subscribe button on your way out so that you don't miss out on any future videos.